So hey my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is June the 23rd, the time is now 11.32am, it's going to be a beautiful Sunday all day guys, if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you can see more of me. Now today's topic is going to be 5 signs that God is protecting you from a bad relationship. Yes, guys, it's very important that we pay attention to the signs because God is always going to give you signs whether something is good for you or is bad. So you got to be aware of these signs. Okay? Now, the first sign that God is protecting you from a bad relationship is if a person shows you their ugly characters and leaves you and leaves you early in a relationship. If you are dating someone or you guys are in a relationship and all of a sudden they go from being nice and cool, calm and collective to being hostile and angry and wanting to fight sometimes and argue and they're highly frustrated over small little things. These are signs that God is trying to protect you from a bad relationship. And the problem that I noticed that a lot of us do is that we see these signs and we choose to ignore them. We choose to ignore the red flags. You cannot do that. If you see that a person is not patient with you, if you see that a person is trying to deliberately start arguments with you on a day-to-day -day basis, this is a sign. This is a sign and you can't ignore it. It's a sign that this relationship is toxic. God is trying to protect you from this bad relationship. So if the person is want, wants to leave, you know, a year or two into the relationship and they decide they don't want it anymore, God is trying to protect you from the pain that this person is able to cause you if you continue to hold on. Now, the second sign that God is trying to protect you from a bad relationship is if your friends and your family's concerns end up being true. A lot of times we like a person so much or we start to lust over them or love them so much that we look past the red flags. We look past the signs that God is trying to show us. But our friends and our family, they're going to be able to spot it right off the bat. If this person is bad for you, they're going to, honestly speaking, your friends and your family will be able to tell. They will be able to notice the things that you're trying to ignore. And what they're going to do as friends and family that care about you is they're going to come to you and say, hey, Chris, such and such, you know, I noticed this and I noticed that. But when you all in love and stuff, you you be like, oh, no, they just hating, they jealous. But it's not that. That is a sign that God is speaking through them trying to protect you from a bad relationship. Pay attention to the signs. Now, the third sign that God is trying to protect you from a bad relationship is if someone was leading you on and started to date someone else. Like, let's say you start dating someone and then y'all kind of really feeling each other and y'all getting kind of serious. But then this person tells you that they're dating four or five other people. God is showing you a sign that this person is a player, that this person is not looking for one person. In fact, they're looking for multiple partners because that's who they are. So God is trying to protect you from a bad relationship. God is trying to protect you from that individual because that individual is liable to hurt you. And God doesn't want you to be hurt. He doesn't. So if that person's dating you and they talk to you openly about how many other people they're dating, then how can they have the best interest for you? Even if they're being honest, like what they're telling you is I want you plus other people. You're not enough for me. Come on. Bad relationship. Now, the fourth sign that God is trying to protect you from a bad relationship is if you pray for a relationship, but it doesn't come right away. A lot of times we pray for relationships and we just want someone to come along to hold us, to give us that loving that we need as human beings. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that person is for you. That person could be nothing but bad news. And at the end of the day, if you're praying for a relationship, but it hasn't come yet, it's because God is protecting you from all that negative, those negative people that, you know, can possibly hurt you. So if you're single right now, maybe this is a sign that it's time for you to mentally, physically, and emotionally get yourself under control before he, he brings forth the person that you are meant to actually be with. So if you're praying for a relationship and it hasn't come quite yet, that's a sign that he's protecting you from the negative energies out there. But he wants you to work on yourself. And then eventually when the time is right, the person that is for you will come along. 
Now, the fifth sign to know that God is protecting you from a bad relationship is if someone continues to threaten to leave you to use that as a form of manipulation. And a lot of times men and women both do that. Okay, I'm going to leave you if you don't give me this or if you don't give me that. And what do you do? Because you love the person and you care about them, you give them what it is that they want because you don't want them to leave you. But how can a person really love you and have good intentions for you if they're using threatening you as a form, threatening to leave you as a form of manipulation? This person doesn't have good intentions for you. And that's clear as day. So like I said before, if, if, if you're dating someone or you're in a relationship with someone and they're using that, threatening you as a form of manipulation, God is trying to show you that this person is not for you. He's trying to protect you from a bad relationship. Now, I hope that those five signs that I told you guys on how God protects us from bad relationships really opens your eyes to the reality of what goes on today. If you like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this from me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shopleveronline.com. Until next time, guys. Peace.